On this episode of Tenel Custom Garage, we're gonna be working on my wife's 2018 Yukon. This is for error code P0128-128. It coincides with the thermostat unit for this vehicle. How to fix error code P0128, Tenel Custom Garage. Uh, two things you're gonna notice. Uh, I didn't notice this with mine, but the air conditioner will not work. It's a beautiful day, it's kind of cold. We haven't been running the air conditioner, so we didn't see that happening. But when you turn this vehicle off, the fan's gonna run for about four, four and a half minutes, even after you turn it off. Clear indicator that something's wrong. That's how I knew we had a problem. I plugged our uh, scan tool into uh, the port and it gave me the error code. And so we're gonna replace it. Got the part already. Um, let's jump in. This, this is an easy fix. Makes a little bit of a mess, but it's not hard to, to make this repair. And the part costs about $54. You don't need a lot with this repair. I've got this air box here that has to come out first for us to get to the thermostat, which is located right under here. I'll give you a closer look. This is a thermostat and water neck assembly that's all one piece. They're fastened together. Uh, here it is. Pretty easy to get to, but this box is definitely in your way and dirty. So we'll take this out of the way. We can get to this. First step is to get this box separated from the hose here. Take this air hose off right here. And uh, we've got another one right here against the throttle body. Also, two air hoses here that will unclip, press up, and they pull off. So sort of just pivot out of the way. There's one on the other side that's identical to it. All right, that's a come out. If I can get it loose. Now we've got a lot more space we can see to get in. That part comes off for a lot of different things. Belt changes, here's your throttle body. Don't wanna get anything in here. Here's the thermostat. We're gonna remove this uh, like little vacuum hose type thing. Overflow, excuse me. Um, and then of course the main radiator hose. This is gonna make a little mess. This is gonna make a little mess. Take this off and put our new one in. So you can see it's had a little bit of had a little bit of pressure on it. It's leaking out just a little bit. It's not too bad. It's gonna leak a little bit more when I get this one off, I'm sure. This is Deer Last Part uh, 81507.
So here's the old part and the new part. They look the same. There's really not much you can tell about the old part versus the new part. This one here looks fine, but that's what they say to replace. There is a sensor located next to the, the um, thermostat, but as I understand it, that will throw a different type of code. That'll throw a point a P0118. This is P0128. So on this channel, I show you everything. And that nipple broke off just from fiddling with that little hose right there. Snapped right off. But I noticed that you can disassemble these things. So I'm gonna disassemble the good mechanisms from here, put them back in my old housing and go that way. This new one's <laughs> built a lot better than the old one. Good as new. Now this one can go back in. I gotta get the rubber gasket. Put it back in place. You know, I almost like that other one better that came off of it. Let me see if I can locate it. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a GM product. So I put the guts of the replacement part. I actually put the GM O-ring back in here too because it's slightly wider than the other. So I feel like I could get a better seal on it. And that's all this is supposed to do is just keep it from leaking. So now that I've got the better uh, insides put back in here, I'm gonna put this GM product back on and be very careful when I put this back on. Now, if everything's good, I will need to come back and refill my reservoir. I can probably go ahead and put some in it now. So that's, that's why there's my line, full cold.
right, so I was able to erase the code. Bam, just like right there. So I've got no problems. Those red flashing lights are the tests that um, have not run because of the uh, engine cycles. Anytime you sort of reset everything and erase codes, the engine's got to cycle around so many times. Each one of them has to do its own thing for the computer to be able to talk to the scan tool. So that's not a problem. It just means it's not monitoring those. But I had already monitored those. I had no codes related to any of them. They were all green except for this one right here. I didn't have any of them that were a problem because my engine light had not come on. But I will show you this. Earlier when I drove the car and the fans were running and all that was kind of problematic, uh, I was sitting on 160, bottomed out. It would not uh, take temperature. So that's fixed. The fans up front have stopped. They've turned off. It's quiet and I don't see any leaks from my o-ring last test is just a strange one related to this particular code that won't let the air conditioner come on so let's turn it on AC yeah that's good Feels cold. So that'll do it for this one. Truck's running good. Came up to temp. No leaks. Everything seems to be fine. $54. Broken part. Switch the guts. Um, and it's all good. So secretly, we have a GM thermostat with some Duralast internals. Nobody's going to know. It's been a good truck. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching this video. Catch you on the next one.